Well, yesterday was pretty insane for stocks. Uh, GameStop all over again. It literally, in one hour, it went from $48 a share to $200 at its peak. So, for example, if you put $10,000 at 3 p.m. yesterday on GameStop, by 4.30, you would have been up $30,000 profit. $30,000 in an hour. That's insane. No, I didn't get in it. Uh, no, I didn't I didn't know about it. I, I saw it as I was going and I was like, oh, maybe it's just a, a whale just putting in some money But then it kept going kept going kept going all the way to 200 um, Pre-market this morning was about 170 now it's going down to 130. So it, I don't know. It's a ride. We'll see the meme stocks are coming back Let's see, but we are pulling up to the first thrift store. Hopefully we get something good guys. Let's get it Got this Olympics Worldwide Olympic sponsor. Really nice jacket. We got a lot of t-shirts to go through today. I'm kind of just picking stuff. Let's go through the shirts. Redskins Elementary. Kane's Night Live. It's a cool Star Wars shirt. Jerusalem Fire Department. That's actually pretty unique. Kodak camera shirt. Maybe I'll get this. <laughs> Miami Hurricanes. Tony Hawk shirt. Flanagan's Quicksilver. Man, nothing good. A lot of t-shirts, but nothing good. this Led Zeppelin shirt but on the rock couture smashing grandpa made in USA it's probably a reprint though it's this Pentagon shirt G star G star raw it's not bad of a shirt but eh, nothing special North Kiteboarding, Volcom, Von Zipper, Univi, never even heard of that brand. Volcom, Volcom, Kitefast, Rockaway is not a beach. Geez, just a bunch of nothing. Rusty, it's a cool rusty shirt. Perry skateboards, Penny skateboards, sorry. I don't know why I said Perry. Fiji. Toyota Racing, TRD. Muhammad Ali, I need a cart. This is a really cool mug. I'm a Dolphin fanatic. The little Garfield Go Team, Garfield. Dated 1978. Older school Florida Marlins hat too. Oh, I'm dropping stuff before I break it all. So we have the Florida Marlins. I thought it was a snapback at first, but it's actually a fitted sports specialties. It's pretty good condition. So like I said, a few finds, we have the hat. I found these waterproof pants, really nice. I'm gonna get them for myself. Uh, we found these women's Calvin Klein full suit. Has a little Calvin on the back and on the front, Calvin Klein going down. These I got from my friend. I'm gonna go drop that off at work. I showed you guys the Olympic jacket. Really nice colorways. And then t-shirts, I don't know if I'm actually getting all these. I'm gonna have to look them up, but we have like the Ali, I'm definitely getting this TD t 
TRD Toyota racing shirt. The fade on it is so nice. Um, and then I have to look all these up too. The penny board shirt, the rusty shirt, um, this also, the Smashing Grandpa. I, I'm pretty sure it's a retro, but I want to see how old it is. Um, the Tony Hawk shirt. Basically all these shirts, I just have to see uh, what our comp's looking like. This Kodak shirt I might just leave, but I don't know. We'll see. I actually really like this graphic. This Uniqlo, it's like a nice wave. I'm always looking for white tees because it's so hot in South Florida, so add that to the personal. What is this, Sunset shirt, Armani Exchange. So you guys saw yesterday we actually sold all our Miami uh, Hurricane stuff, but we have this nice Miami Hurricanes embroidered. I'm gonna send a picture to him, see if he wants to pick it up. Wow, this brings back so many memories of like middle school. My Chemical Romance little hoodie. Got this vintage New York Giants. Nice little big logo. No date on it. Then I did find this Theory, which Theory is actually uh, an expensive brand, but a really nice like cream colored jacket. And then we found these women's LF branded sweatpants. You guys remember we saw these the other day. I'm gonna ask if they could do like $5 on them just because like I said, they are completely crumbled and you can't wear them anymore. Just came across this hat. I've been looking for like a nice camo hat. Cause you guys know me, I'm a trucker. Like I'm a, I'm a country boy. I like, uh, I like camo hats. So look at this nice little embroidery. Super sick. So I'm gonna grab that for the personal. And then we also found this. Probably gonna leave it though. Leave it for somebody else. But we have the Tampa Flay, uh, Tampa Flay. Tampa Bay 2001 uh, Super Bowl. I'm gonna leave that though and just grab this for myself. Came across this hundreds t-shirt, little pocket shirt. On the back, brains, heart, fist. So inside the glass case, they have Saint Laurent's, $200. Insane price. I don't even know if they're real. Well, I ended up getting the Jordans for $2, so not bad at all. Uh, I'll probably throw them up on, him, on my Instagram and see if any customizer or restoration people want to do it. I'm not going to do it because I don't know how to do it. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll sell them for like 20 bucks, and then they could take the uppers off it and, uh, you know, put on something nice. But now, let's kind of uh, head back to uh, Fort Lauderdale and uh, check on Cap and see how that man's doing. So somebody just hit me up. They want to purchase about five or six pairs of sneakers. They said they're going to be here about 25 minutes, so I figure, you know what, let me just stop at this thrift store. I was here about two days ago, so I'm just going to mainly look at the new racks and the sneakers, uh, see if they have anything good. If they do, then we'll get it. And if they don't, then we're just kind of killing time till uh, I can meet up with the girl. I think what she's gonna do, she's gonna, she offered to buy like a bunch of sneakers, like I said, about six sneakers, but different ranges. Like she offered to buy uh, black and red infant Air Forces. She offered to buy size 13 all white Nike Air Forces. She offered to buy the Vapor Maxes, which you guys saw in yesterday's video. Uh, we bought for $5, she offered 45. So we're selling for 45. And uh, yeah, it should just be a good little uh, you know, good little sale. But let's quickly hit up this store and uh, then we'll meet up with the girl. So sadly, these are all new racks, but they've been sitting here for a few days and I already went through them when I was here the other day on Tuesday. So I don't think we're gonna find anything new here. Yeah, I literally went through all these Tuesday. Just came across this vintage guess, little denim vest. And as I'm looking in the shirts, we found this Kingdom Hearts shirt. Pretty cool graphic. Let's see what else we can find. 2005 uh, Bike Fest, but look at the back of this. The graphic is so sick, especially for Halloween time. Definitely picking this up. And then we also found this Disney Mickey Chicago shirt. And I don't know what this is. Storm. Such a good graphic of this Toy Story shirt on the yellow. It is a reprint though. Okay, so these are the four you wanted, but then I also brought these, so I don't know. These are the same size. Oh, sorry. And then, no, yeah, it's fine. And then I brought, there's other kids shoes, so I don't know. These are uh, 13C. Yeah, these are 13C. Yeah. 
Okay, only this. I okay. will send the uh, the thirty five. Yeah. 30, 30. yeah. Okay, I will send it. You have um. So she ended up taking four pairs of shoes. The toddler vans we picked up for two dollars. I sold it to her for ten. Um, the toddler Air Force Ones. I think we paid two dollars. I sold them for five. The Vapor Max. I sold for forty five. We paid five. And then the Air Forces. I paid five, and I sold them for uh, thirty five. So all in all, ninety five dollars for four pairs of shoes. Not bad at all, we're still in profit. Now I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to get for lunch. I'm starving right now. Um, I've been eating Chipotle a lot, but I don't really want Chipotle. I don't really want Poe Tropical. I don't want anything fast food. It's just, I kind of want sushi, but there's no really good sushi places by here. So I'm kind of stuck, but let me see if I can find some food and then, uh, yeah, continue with today's video. So we're saying no to Dunkin' Donuts and we're saying yes to Chipotle. So I just finished putting a bundle of basically all Miami stuff. Uh, my boy sells Miami gear and actually stuff that we even got today. Like we got this today. Uh, we got these Miami shirts today, but basically all Miami stuff. We have Marlins, Miami Heat, Hurricanes, uh, FSU. And then I'm also bringing two pairs of sneakers, the Jordan 7s, and then the Foam Posits to see if uh, he wants to buy those also. So I guess let's see. See if we can cash out. If I can get rid of this, that's like 20, 30 pieces. Less stuff to bring to Miami. Appreciate it. So I totally realized at the end, I didn't even get to show you guys what he bought, but basically he bought basically almost everything in Miami stuff. Uh, he gave me a few t-shirts back, but he ended up buying the Miami Hurricane satin jacket. Um, he ended up buying Miami Hurricanes t-shirts. All the t-shirts that we got today, he ended up buying. Uh, and then the pair of foam posits, and he gave me 210 cash. Perfectly good. He's a local uh, buddy I've known for a while. We used to do events together. So uh, I always, you know, try to help him out. So whenever I find Miami stuff, I am going to hit him up and, uh, you know, because he, he always cashes me out on Miami stuff. But now let's head, uh, I don't know where we're going to head now. Let's just uh, head back to civilization because we're in Miami right now. Let's head back to Fort Lauderdale. Well, nice little $700 day. Well, guys, while I'm currently stuck in traffic, I think I'm just going to end today's video here. Uh, I'm headed back to my mom's house. I have to quickly edit today's video, throw it up, and make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com, PayPal, debit card, credit card, or just follow me on Instagram at DITR954. I'm actually gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be starting doing every single day live auctions. I'm gonna start everything off at $5. Uh, currently, I'm gonna be doing it in the stories. So like I'm gonna post an item and then people are gonna comment and then I'll repost that item with the price that it is and continue and deleting, continue and deleting uh, you know as the bids go up, but I will be doing live auctions. I figured you know what it I get so much stuff every single day You guys see I get trash bags every single day like literally trash bags every single day So it figured let's just start everything off at five dollars if it sells for ten dollars It sells for ten dollars, but guess what it's gone and I'm on to the next item that way I continue making these daily videos I can continue getting trash bags full of stuff because I sell everything within the first day do I make a lot of money? No, but do I make some money? Yes, to the point where I don't have inventory just sitting for days and days. So I'd rather do that. Let me know in the comments down below, do you guys think that's a good idea about the $5 auctions or should I just continue listing on my website at normal prices and let you guys buy it? I think the auctions are gonna be fun. I think the auctions are gonna be easy to move inventory. But yeah, again, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.